I've often said that the true genius of America is that America can change. We can pass laws to right wrongs. We can soften hardened attitudes. Our union can be made more perfect. But here's the thing. Change never happens on its own. Change happens because ordinary people, countless unsung heroes of our American story, stand up and demand it. The story of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans is no different. As we celebrate LGBT Pride Month, we remember the activists and advocates who refuse to be treated like second-class citizens. People like Gene Manford and Harvey Milk, who marched and protested and believed in a better future. But we also remember the unsung heroes, the millions of LGBT Americans for whom everyday acts have required extraordinary courage. The young people who came out as gay or transgender to their parents, not knowing what to expect, the two moms or two dads who went to an open house or PTA meeting, not knowing how they'd be received. The couple that got married, even if their bosses or neighbors wouldn't approve, at least not right away. Most of these heroes didn't set out to make history, but that's exactly what they did. Bit by bit, step by step, they bent the arc of the moral universe towards justice. Now it's our turn. I want to personally thank all of our gay and lesbian service members LGBT civilians and their families for their dedicated service to our country. Before the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, you faithfully served your country with professionalism and courage. And just like your fellow service members, you put your country before yourself. And now after repeal, you can be proud of serving your country and be proud of who you are when in uniform. As recently as three years ago, it would have been hard for many of us, including me, to believe that in the year 2012, a gay man or woman in the armed forces could be honest about their sexual orientation, that 10 U.S.C. 654, the Don't Ask, Don't Tell law, would be gone from the books, and that the process of repeal would have gone even smoother and less eventful than General Ham and I predicted in our report. And last but not least was this noteworthy quote in the report, which seems to be the favorite of a lot of people. We have a gay guy in the unit. He's big, he's mean, and he kills lots of bad guys. No one cared that he was gay, end quote. So what should we honor today? For those service members who are gay and lesbian, we lifted a real and personal burden from their shoulders. They no longer have to live a lie in the military. They will no longer have to somehow teach a child to lie to protect her father's career. As one Army Chief Warrant Officer reported, her commander told her, this policy kept me from knowing you. For all of us, we should honor the professional and near flawless manner in which our entire U.S. military implemented and adapted to this change and welcomed their brothers and sisters to an unconditional place at the table. Thank you very much.